here in Rio de Janeiro. The front two cars are now nose to tail. Alex Zanardi in red, Greg Moore in blue. Each man a proven winner. Zanardi, the reigning FedEx Series champion. And there will be 12 laps to go in the cart Rio 400 oh, look at when they cross the stripe. Sorry, did you see how sideways he got? He was on the throttle, got it sideways, trying to take a run off of Greg Moore off of that corner. He nearly wound up in a smoky heap with that yellow car behind him. Here's look another look. Look at this. Look at Greg sliding that car off of there. Great car control, and boy, he was going to have a go. Pulled up behind the California driver just at the worst moment on the racetrack. That's no reflection on PJ. He couldn't do anything. Greg Moore wasn't into the corner enough. He had to run his racing line. But the gap remains under a second. Five laps to go next time across the strike. Now this helps Greg. This helps Greg right there because that car is slowing up Alex. Alex had the lift coming oh. off. Greg Moore's alongside. Go down the inside. Oh, no, what Look do you do if you Arden Meyer in that yellow Lola? He's you got will. the race leader sandwiching him. Oh! oh. Yes. And more is. around the outside into one. Oh, oh he, he makes it. Oh, Zanardi's up high. Can he hold it? No, he got out on the gray. He couldn't do anything. Greg Moore did an incredible move. And kudos to Alex Zanardi for keeping that car under control and off the concrete. There will be four laps to go next time by Zanardi, suddenly second. And the championship makes another change. Look at this. What a move by Greg Moore right down the outside. Zanardi tries to go in there. Greg says, uh-uh. Two really professional moves there by both of those drivers. And Greg Moore is now in the lead with four laps to go, looking for his third career win. In